inherited this chair from my aunt who lived in Worcester her whole life. Mm -hmm. And towards the end of her life, she lived in a small apartment and I'd go and visit her and help her out and stuff. I liked her, we got along. And she always said, is there anything you would like? Mm -hmm. And I said jokingly one time, you know, I really like that chair, which I really did. And so when she died, she told my cousin before she died to make sure that I got the chair. And when she died, my cousin said, come get the chair. And I took it and I've had it ever since. Well, you have very good taste in furniture. <laughs> this is a George Nelson pretzel chair. Wow. It's a really rare 20th century design. It was designed in 1958. Legend has it was only designed for one year. Again, 1958. There are very few of them. I've been, I've been collecting and selling and buying modern furniture since, well, since the 80s. And this is probably the sixth or seventh one I've ever seen. Wow. They're really, really <laughs> rare. They don't show up very often. So when I saw you in line with it today, I about fell over. <laughs> it was so surprising that you had it. These arms are articulated out so far, it becomes very fragile. And, and a lot of times I've seen them that were broken or pulled out and needed serious repair. And this is a very difficult chair to repair. But you've taken great care of this one. You and your aunt have taken great care of this one. Well, thank you. My aunt was very careful with things. I, I can tell. The Herman Miller Company made this chair. Really? George Nelson started working for them in 1945 and worked for them until about 1972. He was the head of their design department, had Charles Eames work for him. Oh, no, all really? Sort, all, ah, absolutely. Good. He, he was like <laughs> yes. the, the real deal. In the 1930s, he kind of bummed around Europe writing articles on design. And he met Mies van der Rohe and some of the really big 20th century designers. And they turned him on to modern design. Now, Nelson himself probably did not design this chair. He had a, a, he had a fairly large staff that worked for him. Again, this is a fantastic chair. I love the look of it. I love the design. I love the fact how rare it is, because a lot of this stuff was made in pretty good quantities. This wasn't. This chair to, uh, today at auction would probably bring four to six thousand dollars, maybe five to seven thousand wow. dollars. Not bad wow. for a fifty-year-old chair. No, not bad at all. Uh -huh. Not bad at all. Well, thank you. That's like fabulous. Uh -huh. I, I, I just feel justified. People have always said, "Oh, that's a great chair," and now yeah. I can say, "Yeah, it, it really is a great chair." It really is a great oh, chair. Thank it you. really is. Thank, thank you, very you so much. much.